Welcome back. We're on day six already of our 100 days of grace and gratitude, and I'm really excited to share with you today. I feel like today is going to be um, a little bit more lighthearted and focusing on how nothing is too small to be thankful for or grateful for or enjoy. And so uh, today's art is going to be focused on a bunch of little things in my life. No matter how silly they may seem, nothing is too small to thank God for and nothing is too small um, or too silly for him not to care about for us either. And I think this page, uh, the pre-art that's already on here is beautiful, but I'm excited to use my bright favorite metallic watercolors to accentuate a little bit more because these are like kind of shimmery, glittery, um, metallic colors that I can add in to a whole bunch of stickers that, um, I feel like celebrate all the little things this last year, 2023 year, that I am incredibly grateful and thankful for because the 100 days is running from Black Friday all the way through um, March of 2024. So I really wanted to highlight and focus on those things. The, the highlight verse for today is Colossians 3.16. And the it says, let the message about the Messiah dwell richly among you, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom and singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And I, um, I, I don't know, I just, I just didn't want this entire book, the next hundred days of grace and gratitude uh, to not include some of these really uh, sweet and awesome little things that I can be so, 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 so grateful for. Um, nothing is too big and nothing is too small. Um, anyway, oh, I did want to mention earlier in this video, um, I have a second channel. It's called Connecting to Restore. It's here on, on YouTube. Um, I do have an Instagram and a Facebook page and a few other things, but the YouTube is the only real active thing. And right now it is all of our 100 days um, of grace and gratitude videos, but without me talking. It's all kind of soft, relaxing, meditative music that you can listen to and just watch the pages come together. And I have found that that's been something very helpful for me to enjoy um, as I'm in my craft room or reading the Bible or whatever to have something inspiring but not that I have to listen to or focus on. So I started that secondary channel to just have that um, relaxation music with these videos for you. So you can check that out at the at sign connecting to restore on YouTube. Anyway, um, so I like I said, I gathered a bunch of stickers and um, pictures that really celebrate things that I love, like the pineapple that says life is so sweet with all the um, flowers and things in it. It really is. Life is so sweet. I love pineapples. Um, it's a sweet fruit. I love the, the stand tall warrior crown. I love how um, the way in which pineapples grow. Like I love everything about them. <laughs> and I wanted that to be on there. Of course, I love flowers. I love coffee. Um, butterflies, they're all really um, things that give me a sense of something to be grateful for. I love my cozy blankets, and my cozy baskets, and the things that make my home home. I love my makeup and my lip gloss. I love my hot bubble baths. I love TV shows like the show Friends. I love my mascara. I love hugs from my family. Of course, I love coffee. <laughs> I love books to read. I love my Bible. I love a sweet treat like a donut. Um, I also love how this, uh, the pre-art on here has kind of these like pie charts already on here. I found a pie chart of a heart. I think it's from an Allie Edwards kit that I had and I thought oh my gosh this will be a great place to kind of list all of those little things like crafting and music and journaling and my lip gloss and sweet smelling candles and my wedding ring or kisses and of course things I mean the big things right like my family and the love that we have in this family and our home those are those are 
what I would consider bigger things that of like are the givens that you're thankful for um this page i really wanted to be like nothing's too small so things like you know uh the technology to be able to share these videos and to have cell phones and to do those kinds of things coffee like god cares if we have coffee he made coffee for us to enjoy vacations lip gloss you know all the creativity um i think all those things are important and they're important to recognize and to remember and to be thankful legitimately for so that's what i'm filling up this heart with um, on each little piece of the line and of course this is not a comprehensive list of everything that i could possibly be thankful for um, but i had to i had to include a bunch of them i had these really really cute starbucks coffee stickers that um, my friend suzanne actually sent to me several years ago and i've used a couple of them here and there but I'm like, this is the perfect, the perfect layout to use these on. So I have a picture of Donnie and I singing. That was a big dream that came true in 2023. If you're new to following me, I've been a large, huge fan of Donnie Osmond for a very long time since I was a teenager. And I've always said one day I'm going to sing with him. And I saw him, I've seen him in concert more times than I can count. Um, but I, he had requests in August. I went I went in July and then I went again in August to see him and we sat close to the stage and I was able to get up on stage and sing with him when he took requests. It, it's a long story. There's a video on the YouTube channel. Go watch that. It, it's funny. But anyway, it's a big thing that I'm so grateful for that happened this year um, and it came true and I'm like still beaming about it when I think about it. So anyway, I wanted to include that on here as well because it just is like something to recognize. I have the show, the TV show Friends, not necessarily the most godly biblical show that there is on the planet. I will give you that. But there's a lot of laughs and a lot of um, enjoyment that still has come from that and connections that have happened because of that. So I feel like I can still be thankful for it in its own way and i'm going to include it because it's part of who um i am in this as well so don't come at me saying it's not a biblical show i already can hear it <laughs> um but like i said i feel like nothing is too small we live in a time and a place where we have things like facebook and youtube to even be able to share these thoughts these feelings these dreams these silly pieces of ourselves um for our family for even if it's just for yourself um i think that's really incredible you know i don't know i just didn't want it to go unnoticed so i hope that you can take some time to focus on the little things to be thankful and grateful for know that i'm so incredibly thankful and grateful for you and the entire family inside she makes club we really are a family that loves creativity loves our cricket machines love to scrapbook and tell our stories and to make a life that we love together so i really hope that you'll consider joining us during these next 100 days uh, like i said i tried to make it as easy as possible for everybody it's a penny a day for your first 100 days of membership and you can join us at shemakes.club 100 days use that coupon code 100 days enjoy the moments friends i'll see you soon Bye bye <laughs>